Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to talk about a man. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to talk about what you call a real man. A man that steps up to the plate. I'm going to tell you a little story. It was a man named John. He hooked up with a sister girlfriend who he happened to love the sound of, it, of her voice. That's the first thing that attracted him, plus her intelligence and her charm. Well, as it turned out, he was so turned on to her charm that along came this little girl. And Mamacita was going to be a Mamacita once again, which was not planned. All right. But what happened was when this man named John took one look at this baby girl, he knew it was his baby. And he pursued Mamacita to marry her, not because he was in love with her, which he was honest enough to say, but he said, I will grow to love you. We need to get married and take responsibility for what we did. That child didn't ask for this, but you and I did what we did and we should take our parental responsibility. Now, that's what I call a man, don't you? And this man married, convinced her to marry him. And let me tell you, he took in her teenage kids, took care of the whole family, and was a phenomenal father. Now, he wasn't in a very happy marriage, because Mama Sita had spent a little time in the asylum because she had a nervous breakdown. She had a lot of unhealed issues, unhealed wounds, a broken heart from so many hurts in her life, all the way from her childhood. But John hung in there. John hung in there all the way till his daughter was a grown woman and it moved away from home. And he was such an excellent father that she learned so much about life that she couldn't have learned elsewhere. This man was an older man. He was very mature. He was a man of the world. He knew the games people played. And he fathered this girl with wisdom, warnings, admonishments, lessons of life. He shared his own failures. The man was on his game. And if he thought that it was necessary, he'd take that little belt out and tan that little fanny too. But he only did it three times in the girl's life. And she knew. She knew that she deserved it. This man took care of the girl that he brought into this world and took care of the ladies' teenage kids until they moved away from home. <clears throat> now, the other thing the man did was he was so committed, he stayed in a pretty rocky and unhappy marriage. The first five years were a pistol, but he stuck it out and he never left the woman, never. He was committed till death do you part. Now, if you're wondering what man I'm talking about, can you see my facial expression? You see the pride? I'm talking about my daddy, my father, John Henry Love. My father was something else. And I am here to tell you that I, because of the father I had, recognize what you call a real man. And as a result, I was able to be blessed with a real man for a husband. Unfortunately, he's not with me anymore. He went to be with the Lord.
but my husband was a real man. And I want to say to you men, man up, quit playing games with these women. Stick that Peter back in your, in your zipper. Be responsible. Stop playing little boy games from a grown man's body. Stop thinking like a boy, acting like a boy, reacting like a boy, living like a boy, and man up. Take responsibility. You're making babies, father those babies. Act like you know what a real man is. A man isn't something that just pokes a hole under a skirt. That ain't no man. You're not a man because you're making babies. It's what you're doing with your babies that makes you, that decides whether you're a man or not. What are you doing with the mothers of those babies? How are you handling your responsibilities? I'm not trying to be cold. But some of you men need to have that thing chopped off because you don't know what you're doing. You're another little boy thinking you're a man just because you can turn a woman on. And you wouldn't know how to write a check. You wouldn't know how to fill out a job application. You're laying up on the woman. You man up. Grow up. Get it together. Put some, some steel in that spine of yours. Straighten up and fly right. Please. We've got a generation and generations of, of, of fatherless children. Husbandless women. Because you want to stay little boys. You want to play. You want to go out and play. You want to play with this one. You want to play with that one. You want to play with the nipples. And you want to play with the booty. And you want to play with the nookie. And you want to play. And you want to play. And you want to play. But nobody wants to grow up and be a man. You know, there's an old expression from the streets. I agree with wholeheartedly. You got to pay the cost to be the boss. You ain't boss of jack. If you can't man up, if you refuse to man up, and I'm not saying it in resentment, I'm saying it as a wake up call. Why do you think the kids are going down the toilet in the handbasket? They don't know who they are. They don't know what they're about. They don't know what they want to be. They don't, uh, they don't even know their identity. Because there's not a father. There's no covering. There's no wisdom being poured into them. There's no discipline. No teaching. No counseling. Men, where are you? Please climb up out of the sheets. Get up out of those porno magazines and become fathers. Father your children. Stop playing around. You're bringing up a, a generation of emotional and mental cripples, and it's your doing. I'm going to stop hollering because I'll be busting my speakers in a minute. I don't mean to fuss at you, but I, I am here to say I would have been in jail. I would have been arrested. I don't know how many times. I would have been caught up in the sorriest relationships. I would have gone for so many okey-dokes in my life. I would have been one bitter, good-for-nothing woman if it had not been for the man in my life, my father, who taught me well, taught me thoroughly, took the time, hours of sitting down trying to drill some sense into my knucklehead. When he would meet a guy I was dating, he would tell me he would read him like a book. And I knew he was right because I already saw the signs and I couldn't figure out. All you heard was his name. You take one look at him and boom, you size him up and down accurately. My father made me miss. He made, he protected me. He helped me miss out on a lot of heartache, you guys, because he drilled wisdom into this hard head. He was patient enough to keep talking to me and talking to me and reasoning with me. 
What are you guys doing with your children? God have mercy on your souls for the damage you're doing by not doing a thing. Thank you men who are good fathers. Those of you men who are taking the time to be there for your kids, God bless you. But God help you men who are not. I'm done.